Hey everybody, welcome to Storm Talk. Way through news meteorologist Brian Good here. We're going to cover our uh, little hiccup in our system coming our way for uh, tomorrow night into Thursday. And of course, we'll talk about the upcoming holiday weekend. Got a lot going on. Not only just the holiday weekend, we've got our Way Through News concert series coming up Thursday. Starts at 11.30 at the KFC Yum Center Plaza. I'll be out there along with some of the others here from Way Through News. So I hope you get a chance to come out and say hi to us and have some lunch. We'll have some food trucks out there as well. It's also the kickoff to Abbey Road on the river, which will continue all afternoon and evening. There on Thursday, continues Friday, Saturday, and of course on Sunday at uh, Waterfront Park. So a lot going on. The weather is crucial. We're going to dive into all those details in a second. First off, as always the case, we begin with our SBC outlooks for our chance for severe weather over the next three days. Today, it's not going to be here. That is for sure. Nice and quiet here locally. Severe chance once again over Texas where they continue to get hammered with heavy rain. Tomorrow, there is a marginal risk that gets extended out to Memphis. It's on the southern side of the system that's coming our way to give us a chance for showers tomorrow night, but it's a weakening system. That's why you don't see that marginal fly all the way more north the east than 65 because uh, it is a weakening system, still mainly over Texas. And then as we head into uh, the day on Thursday, it's really all to the south and even in marginal at best. So a very quiet week over other than heavy rain in Texas. I think it's still going to be the big story for those guys. All right, today, look at the temperature, 69 degrees here. 67 in Fort Knox, 70 down in E-Town. Well, it's still 57 into Seymour. And there's no clouds to really impact that. So it's mainly just a cool air off to the north there. Dew points, you know, yesterday I showed you this. Upper 60s near 70. We've wiped that out now. 40s and low 50s for dew points. Feels a lot better outside. And there's the proof from not only at the ground level, but from above looking down at Earth from space. And you can see that uh, the satellites are not just not picking up any type of cloud cover at all here locally. A few clouds off to the north. But you see our system I'm talking about developing across Colorado. Giving those guys snow still, if you can believe that, in the higher elevations. For us, uh, again, it's going to be a weakening system as it dives to the south and east. It's going to have showers in the north end, though, that could impact us as it passes through the area. Uh, but again, it's all against a timing issue here and how much moisture it'll have when it gets to our area. Because we have very dry air, as you saw there on the dew points at play. Show you two models. And I'll show you our concern we're going to have here for uh, temperatures especially. First off, this afternoon from the RPM, looking good. Tonight, it's got 49 here locally. I think the heat island effect within the city limits will kind of balance that. Probably about 52 here in the city. But... Outline areas could easily fall into the upper 40s for uh, tomorrow. Clouds do stream in throughout the entire day on Wednesday, but the lower levels, as I'll show you in a second, are very dry. So I really doubt anything. If there's any rain on the radar approaching, it will likely fall as Virgo, which is precipitation. It falls on the radar but doesn't uh, reach the ground because the lower levels are just too dry for that. You'll see those little striations in the clouds maybe where the rain is falling, but again, it doesn't make it to our level. That is possible initially, but as window Wednesday night, I think we'll see those showers reach the ground in a very spotty fashion over the area. It looks to be a mainly a nighttime event for our region. Uh, and then as we end Thursday, this is the key on this. How quickly does this system get out of the way on Thursday? RPM gets the rain out here early in the morning, but the cloud cover is stubborn to slowly erode away. And that's going to really impact our highs. Even at noon on uh, Thursday, temperatures in the lower 60s here in the city. And if we can have sunshine, about 68 to 70 maybe. That's a maybe on that. Then it's out of here, and it's really, uh, the RPM's going really cool for early on Friday. We'll watch this. I mean, I don't think it's going to be a frost issue here, but uh, lower 40s? Yikes. thought we were done with all that kind of stuff, but uh, it very well could get that cool early on Friday. All right, let me show you the NAM model. Uh, as we start off uh, later on for uh, third or Wednesday morning, tomorrow morning, it also suggests a few four days are possible. It does the same thing. Brings in those high clouds in the afternoon. It's a little slower, as you can see there, with bringing in the moisture. And I think this may be on to something more of the reality of the situation here. Uh, could reach 70 tomorrow because we'll get that morning sun before those clouds stream in for the afternoon. Again, high clouds most, uh, most likely out of that. And then as wind to the nighttime hours, it's not as aggressive with the shower concentration, although this model is not as a more defined grid as the RPM is. So it may not be able to see as much detail as the RPM can. So it could be a little more expansive than this. And the radar still, it's not going to be a big deal. It's going to be mainly light rain and showery at best as we head into Wednesday night and then early Thursday. But here's interesting part of the NAM. By 1230 on Thursday, it still has us at 59 in Louisville. And by 5 in the afternoon, only 62 degrees, which means some areas may not get out of the 50s. If you are watching uh, my Twitter feed and Facebook, the Euro model hinted at this last week. 
And if it ends up turning out right for this uh, period, and some areas don't get out of the 50s on Thursday, uh, kudos to the Euro because it, uh, it nailed that a week out. So uh, kind of cool to see that. No pun intended. Now as we get into uh, Friday morning, it's cool. Not as cool as the RPM, but still cool. Lower 40s possible. So again, uh, chilly starts the day on Friday. So here are the soundings from the NAM model looking at ground level up. Let me take you back now to Wednesday afternoon. You can see how it's bringing the high clouds. Uh, but if you look carefully, again, the green line is the moisture, red line is temperature. Anytime they are close together, you're saturated, you get cloud cover or rain. The more they are apart, the drier your atmosphere is. And you can see overall, look at the profile from ground level all the way up. It's mainly dry except for this little area where they do come close enough together to form that cloud deck, which is about, uh, looks about 10,000 feet, between five and 10,000 feet. But when you look at the lower levels where we are, they spread apart. That's why you can get a cloud that can form a raindrop, but it can evaporate because the atmosphere is drier at ground level. That's why I'm not concerned about rainfall during the day Wednesday. Wednesday night, well, we do have the uh, the cloud deck is a little lower here. So it's close to it. It's about lower than 5,000 feet. And yeah, there is still a spread here. And that's why the radar may look aggressive at times of rain, but the dryness may lessen the amount of drops that make it to the ground. So I still think some raindrops will make it to the ground tomorrow night, but the radar may look more aggressive than what it looks like. So as we always say, the bark is worse than its bite, kind of the deal uh, we're talking about here for uh, this rain event for Wednesday night. Then we get into Thursday, and here's where I think it's interesting, and the GFS is similar on this, by the way. You know, dry levels all the way up, pretty windy, by the way, aloft, uh, but notice, again, enough moisture being trapped here uh, it's like an inversion layer is what we call this. It gets trapped in the cloud cover. It gets stuck with this all the way through the afternoon hours on Thursday. And if uh, this is right, this sounding is right, it is going to be a cool day on Thursday, cooler than tomorrow for sure. So uh, we'll adjust the numbers here in the forecast when we get closer to news time. But I would fully uh, expect uh, temperatures in the 60s for many of us on Thursday. And I would not roll out yet. Some areas may not get out of the 50s. All right. Once we get past this cool atmosphere, let's get into the holiday weekend. Friday looks good. A few clouds around on Friday, but it will be a warmer day, well into the 70s. Uh, Saturday looks beautiful outside. I think we'll cross into the 80s at this point on Saturday. Lots of sunshine, so if you've got uh, holiday plans, you're looking good here on Saturday. Sunday, we get more of that humid atmosphere, moisture around, so some pop-up thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening. It's hard to tell who's going to get hit and at what time. Just know there's going to be a chance. Plan for that just in case on Sunday and hope that you get missed, especially if you're going to be out on the lake. Monday, same deal for Memorial Day. Downpours possible, lightning and thunder. We're not expecting severe weather, but it could sound severe at times with the intensity of the lightning and the heavy downpours. It'll be humid when it's not raining and temperatures well into the 80s. Just prepare for that and hopefully uh, it does miss you again. And then same thing really on Tuesday. If you're extending your holiday, even Tuesday looks pretty stormy. All right, guys, so there you have it. A uh, little bit of a hiccup, not a major deal, but uh, some cool weather potentially in the next couple of days. And then the start of the holiday weekend looks really good. It's the end. It looks a little more summer-like. But, hey, it is going to be the unofficial kickoff of summer, so it, uh, it's actually looking quite appropriate.